Today we are going to cover how to view, edit, and send machine or implement offsets in the Operations Center. Having machine and implement offsets accurately set up in the Operations Center allows an operator to spend less time setting up a machine in the field. Having correct offsets sent to a machine reduces the potential for damaged crops or inaccurate data due to an incorrectly set up machine or implement offsets. Additionally, if a machine was originally created in the Operations Center, any modification to the machine's offsets on the display can be sent back to Operations Center through a setup file, which will update the machine and save the new offsets from the display in the Operations Center. This is enabled through the Org Preference Overwrite Equipment Profiles. Machines and implements currently belonging to the organization can be viewed on the map page within the Operations Center. Machines or implements that have an active JDLink subscription will show their location on the map. Machines with no MTGs or expired JDLink subscriptions can be viewed in the Equipment tab. To view offsets for a machine or implement, a user can either click on the machine or implement icon on the map page or use the Equipment tab and select the desired machine. When the machine is selected, a new window will open with the additional machine information. We're going to select the Offsets tab to view this machine's information. Review the machine's offsets and compare with actual measurements of the physical machine. Note, machine or implement offsets may vary depending on tire size, amount of ballast, tire weight, or weight of attached implements. It's best to verify measurements with each application to ensure best performance. If any machine or implements are missing, we can add them from the Machine tab as well. Simply select the plus button at the top of the list to get started. If this is a Deere machine or implement, we can add the serial number for the make type model to be automatically populated. In addition to the serial number, we will need to give this machine a name before saving. Third-party machines or implements can also be added here as well. We'll still need to enter a name for the piece of equipment, select the make type model using other if the specified make type model isn't available, and finish by selecting add. Equipment and implements can also be added in Setup File Creator while creating a setup file. Now that we have our machine and implement offsets updated, we should create a setup file to send to our machines so that we have the correct offsets. Using Setup File Creator, we simply need to select the machines and implements that we updated and send via wireless data transfer or USB. Thanks for watching.